This episode is sponsored by Gamergy, the gaming energy drink made by gamers for gamers. Check it out in four great flavors, Purple Nurple, Red Alert, Binary Blue, and Epic Green. What's going on, you guys? We're back with a brand new episode of Pokemon Insurgents, and I'm here with my boys, JJ and Kyle. They're going to get a behind-the-scenes treat into how we record this stuff, and we finally made it to Sun Touch City. We finally made it to the city with the first gym. I am so excited. Let's go ahead and get into the Pokemon Center. We'll talk to some people here and find out what's going on. The gyms in the Tora region aren't only based around types, but they usually have a theme. The Elite Four, on the other hand, I heard that they base their teams not around themes, but on hyper-competitive strategies. I can never beat them. Well, that proves that theory that, you know, these gyms are going to be a lot harder than usual. Let's see what we can buy here, though. We got some super potions. Let's go ahead and get four more of those bad boys. Okay, we are completely out of repels. So let's go ahead and get some repels. Alright, let's finish talking to everybody in the Pokemon Center. There's some people downstairs, usually. Oh, hello, I'm the move deleter. I can administer medical amnesiacs to Pokemon to make them forget moves. Do you want me to do that? I promise I'm licensed. <laughs> I hope you're licensed. <laughs> oh, hello there. I'm the official name raider. Want me to n rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? Oh, not right now, but... So that's cool. You got the move deleter, the name raider, and the first city with a gym, so that's nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and explore the town a little bit. We're going to go to the entrance of the cave and then work our way around. Sun Touch City has multiple levels. One is on the ground and the other is way up in the clouds. You can use the fan to travel between the levels. Okay. That's... Huh? Huh? Is this a pillar? Hmm. I think that's a pillar. Oh, there's the fans. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. That's one huge statue. It's only fitting a great statue for a wondrous man. Who's the statue? Oh, crap! It's a large statue of the auger. The sign reads, Jern? Jern? The second auger? May his hits be credible, critical and his focus blast never miss. <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny. All right. My favorite Pokemon is Jigglypuff. If you show me one, I'll give you something cool. I don't have any Jigglypuff. Sorry. Suntouch City is the media center of the region. From here, we make movies and broadcast TV shows all over the region. Cool. Okay, we're not going to go any houses right now. I want to deal with all the people that are outside. Certain Pokemon need a stone to evolve. A Moonstone will allow you to evolve Pokemon... Certain Pokemon like Clefairy. <gasps> we got a Moonstone for our need arena, guys! Yes, Beyonce! All the single ladies, all the single ladies. We're gonna have ourselves a Nido Queen! You need the Thermal Badge to cross water. That means that if you want to travel to the south, you'll have to beat our gym leader first. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna beat that gym leader down, down to Chinatown. Here's another statue. Who are you a statue of? Who are you a statue of? Answer me! There's a, there's a statue of the new auger up there, though. No, no, it said second auger. So the, that one down here is the first auger. The, then the one up there is also the, the current auger, too. Well, here, I'll show you. See, Kyle's starting to question whether I know what I'm talking about. So we're going to go ahead and shove it in his face. Let's go ahead and go up here. <gasps> it's a large statue of the auger. The sign reads, Jern, the second auger. Which there has only been two. So, see, we get to call out people and tell them that they're wrong, even when we're sitting at home. Could be just another person that's modeled like that character. See, like, this person's kind of modeled after that character. But anyway, let's continue going around here. Ooh, okay. Okay, well... We won't be going anywhere in there. <laughs> that big red and black building is a subway station. I heard... It can take you to any region in the entire world. I'm saving up for a trip to Hoenn. Ooh, or maybe Sinnoh or Roma. That would be cool. <clears throat> I can't 
can't wait till we're able to do that. That'd be. Can we not? Oh, duh. Oh, it's. Wait. It's unlocked. Okay, well, let me in. It says it's unlocked. The door to the Pokemon subway station is unlocked. Well, let me in! Alright, well. Uh, let's go ahead and finish talking to people. I once heard that there was someone in Helio City who sells an item that lets you evolve Pokemon that evolve by trading. I went to Helio City to evolve my Haunter, but I couldn't find the guy. He must have been underground. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we've been up there. Let's talk to this guy. I don't know how they let Orion leave this city's gym. He talks to rocks in his spare time. Okay. A little creepy. What's up? Call me the Pika Taxi Guy. My taxi for the low cost of 500 Poké Dollars will get you wherever you need to go. As long as you've been there before, that is. If you use my service enough, I'll give you a VIP pass that'll let you travel for free. Uh, well, we've already talked to him a couple times, so... And, um... <clears throat> Orion's a very tricky gym leader to face. He's supposed to be a fire type leader, but that's not the only type I've seen him use. All right, and we're back at the Pokemon Center. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. Are you here to challenge the gym? You'll have to do that in the cloud layer to do that. Just hop on the fan there. I promise it's perfectly safe. I like how a giant fan's supposed to take us to the other part of this city. <laughs> that must be one powerful fan, but how do we land safely if it's that powerful? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I've been studying Pokemon breeding, specifically the breeding of the Togekiss line. If you show me a Togepi, maybe I could give you something in return. I do not have a Togepi. Why not? Because I, I just don't have a Togepi. Why not? Because I haven't found a Togepi to catch. Why not? Hope you guys are enjoying that joke. <laughs> I heard someone in Mechie Town was selling secret bases. If I could afford one, I would be all over that. Um, secret bases are cool, but they were really only cool in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when you're able to challenge your friends and everything. That that was that was really cool. You shouldn't worry about using Pokemon that are considered stronger or weaker. No matter how bad a Pokemon may seem, there are always there's almost always a clever and unique way to use it. I agree with that. Unlike other regions, you don't need HMs to get around Torin. Items will do the trick just fine. And for HMs like Rock Smash and Strength, other normal moves can be used for the same purpose. Okay. Goldeen. Well, <sighs> oh, it's like I have a frog in my throat, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, now we're doing better. Alright. I've been living in Sun Touch City for a year or two now. It's so beautiful. I'm so glad I came. The statue of the auger in the north of the town was built just a couple of months ago. It's amazing how they got something up that fast. I don't know why people make fun of Orion for having a friend other people can't see. It's totally normal. Okay. And, oh, oh, we got a normal gem for the skitty. Okay, and guys, I'm calling this right now. I think I've already said it once or twice before. I think that second auger is, is not the good guy he pretends to be. It's great to have creatures like Pokemon to serve us. Hey, Machop, hurry up with that sandwich or I'll throw you in the hole again. What? Oh, no, this guy, this guy needs to die. Um, why can't we do something about this? Are you guys seeing this? Hey, Machop, hurry up with that sandwich or I'll throw you in the hole again. Then I go over and talk to the Machop, and the Machop is too tired to speak. Okay, I really hate this guy now. <sighs> it rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Alright. Here's a couple houses we haven't been to yet. As an artist, it's my duty to capture all the different colors of life into my portrait. Ah, ah, art truly is beautiful. My husband is a world-famous archaeologist. I don't mean to brag, but he's good friends with Professor Sylvan as well. Well, good for him. I heard that many years ago there was a song that when played could change the laws of the universe itself. Unfortunately, the song was, long, was lost long ago. As an archaeologist, seeing those notes and hearing that song would be a dream come true. 
Why? Because you wouldn't remember after if it's going to change the universe. Uh, are you a trainer? Every trainer should be ready for the world around them. Here, take these. A gift from me. Hey, I got friend balls. I can make friends with my Pokemon. Yay! I think that's all the houses. At least I'm pretty sure. Oh, get out of my way. Oh, I hate when people just move right into your way. It's so annoying. Ugh. <sighs> I think we've been in these houses. Yeah. Alright, yep, that's all the houses. I guess we'll go to the Cloud District then. Ooh, this is weird. This is creepy all a little bit. Look at all this fog and cloud. Yo, you want some of this? Obtain lava cookie. Oh, I thought he was gonna battle us. Keep that safe now, alright? <laughs> that was. Interesting. Yo, you want some of this? Bring it on! Have a cookie! <laughs> Isn't it disappointing that being burned cuts your physical attack, but nothing happens when you're poisoned? That seems a bit unfair towards physical attackers, doesn't it? Okay. <sighs> Alright. The director and the broadcast star was looking for some help with field work. If you're looking for something to do, I'm sure you'd appreciate it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do the same thing. We'll talk to everybody outside first. Orion may be young, but don't underestimate him. He's one tough gym leader. I heard his team isn't only based on fire type, but around the ability of one of his Pokemon. Okay. Okay, here's the gym. Let's go ahead and read the sign. Sun Touch City, Leader Orion. is really really dangerous I'm, su I'm surprised nobody has been injured using it i was just saying that and here's a hole to drop down into Ah, uh, this sounds like a really bad way of handling oh, no, things <sighs> hello and welcome to the sun touch city broadcast tower it's from here we can broadcast news and information all over the world okay well i'm gonna pass you we're starting up a new program about rare Pokemon. We're hoping to feature legendaries, Delta species, and maybe even shinies. I'm so shiny. I just got a job here at the broadcast tower. I want to run my own program that teaches people how to battle. I think it will be fun to watch and a good source of money for me. Okay. If you're interested, I heard the boss upstairs was looking for interns to do field work. It's some program on rare Pokemon. I'm sure they'll appreciate the help. Cool. <sighs> I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I'm kind of famous around these parts. I'm the star of the series. I didn't intend to play the trumpet. Okay. Hey, you're not allowed back there. This is where the boss of Broadcast Tower works. You shouldn't disturb him. He's busy. Unless... Are you a trainer? The boss is looking for trainers, you see? We're trying to start a new channel based around rare Pokemon, but we need a trainer to make it happen. If you are, we can make you a star. It pays well, and you can keep any Pokemon you catch. If you're going on an adventure, it won't interfere with that. It'll be like a side job. You can. It'll be like a side job. You can help out with from time to time. Are you willing to help? Yeah, sure. Excellent. I'll take you to see the boss then. <coughs> this kid seems to be a trainer, boss. He says he's willing to help you out with a new channel. Did he now? What's your name? Very well then, Mock. I'm going to make you a star. We start filming the pilot episode right now. Let's begin. So here's the deal, Mock. You want to be a movie star, a hero? We heard reports of a rare Pokemon in the air, Axie or something. To be honest, we couldn't care less. The problem is, we've been through the grass tons of times and we couldn't find any. We've got helicopters everywhere in the area. All you need to do is use your skills as a trainer to find Axie and battle it. You can kill it, capture it, or whatever. Just battle it, we need footage. And a tip, I recommend you don't move around too much. Maybe you just wait in a certain spot and look for wrestling. Okay. So it looks like we're going to try to find an Axie, you guys. So we're going to sit here very quietly. Very, very quietly. And look for rustling grass. Okay, did we, did we find the Axie? Yeah, we found the Axie! He's got Mole Breaker, nice. Holy 
Holy cow! Thank the Lord that we are fairy. Alright, let's go ahead and try to catch this Axew. I think we should try to use a friend ball. Make this Axew our friend. Go, friend ball! No! Yes, please keep using dragon type moves on my fairy psychic bolt Ivysaur. Please keep using them. Alright, hopefully we get it this time. Nope. I want to use a friend ball to capture it, but we may not end up being able to, so let's try one more time. Hey, we got it! Alright. And Bubby grew up a level. Cool. This mar they mark their territory by leaving gashes and trees with their tusks. But if a tusk breaks, a new one grows in quickly. Would I like to give Axie a nickname? Of course. Um... Huh. You know what, guys? I'm gonna pause it real quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna try to think of a nickname. Okay? Give me one second. All right, guys. So I came up with a cool nickname. I'm gonna name him Wuthred. If you guys don't play Skyrim at all, you, if you guys play Skyrim, you might recognize the name. Uh, Wuthred is the name of the axe that you get after you complete all of the companions quest in Skyrim. And I mean, it's just a cool nickname. And Haxorus has axe blades on the sides of his head. So. I thought it was a cool name, so... Wuthrin. Alright. Yo, Mock, we got that on tape! Come back over here! Oh, cool, we can finish, like, exploring this little area. Can we catch any other Pokemon? I don't think we can catch any other Pokemon. Not that we would, anyway, but... We caught that battle foot, uh, battle on footage. We, you were fantastic. Great work. We're going to head back to the base now. Here's your reward straight from the boss himself. Obtained 2,000 Poke Dollars. That wasn't too bad. We got a Pokemon and 2,000 Poke Dollars. Alright. Now, I'm not going to lie. Having a Dragon type on the team would be really nice. Because the first gym we're facing is Fire and Grass. We could take Frank off the team for right now and use uh, Wuthrid. Because Frank's not going to be... Well, Frank is beneficiary towards the Fire type, but not the Grass type. Hmm. We'll have to think about it, guys. We'll have to think about it. Maybe we'll look at Wuthred and see how awesome he is. Hey kid, it's me, the director. Listen, you were a hit. People love you on TV. Would you mind coming back to the broadcast tower? We need to start filming the next episode right away. Okay, another new episode already. The boss's children are a bit eerie, aren't they? They just sit around all day and don't talk or move, but I guess that's why the boss brings them to work. They must get awfully lonely. Weird and creepy. This guy's kids are creepy. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can do for this guy. Do I actually have to walk around? Wow. Great work on your last mission, Mock. This one's sort of the same thing. You see, we heard reports of one of those very rare Delta species Pokemon over in the Rizai Desert. We'd like you to check it out. Of course, you can catch it if you want. We must. You know, we just need footage for our TV show about finding wild Pokemon. Mock, the rains from the last episode are out of the roof. 
If you want to retain viewers, we have to have an exciting second episode. And guess what? Not only was there a rare Pokemon recorded here, but that rare Pokemon is a Delta species. That's right, Delta Pokemon are the rarest of the rare. If we can find it, we'll be, we'll be the most popular channel on TV. Again, we've got helicopters in the area. All you need to do is use your skills as a trainer to find the Delta. If you want to capture it, you can. Just get some, just get us some footage. Talk to my associate if you need a tip. Hey, Mock, don't be nervous. You're doing great. I don't think this is going to be like finding the axiom. I've seen some of the sand rustling, but whatever is under the surface never stops moving. You might need to chase it or catch it to encounter it. Okay, we already found it. And it's a Grimer. And it's also level 30. We should not have done this. Uh. Oh gosh, we're gonna die. Um. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have done this already. Come on. Oh, and our speed bell, of course. Um, let's try an ice fang. Ooh. I don't know if I should try to catch it now or. Let's go ahead and try it, guys. We got it, boys! We got it, girls! What the heck is going on here? We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! I don't know why I'm singing Dora. And Killer Croc is probably going to go up a buttload of levels. It seems to be an ordinary grimer with sand absorbed into its circulation. It can vanish into the sand to escape from predators. Would you like to give it a nickname to Grimer? Hmm. Same situation here, guys. I gotta think for a moment, so I'm gonna pause it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so literally like five seconds after I paused it, my friend JJ just speaks up and goes, Mr. Sandman, I wait, but it's a girl, and he goes, Mrs. Sandman, I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so, Mrs. Sandman. Oh, well, it looks like we're gonna be out, we're gonna have to take out that period, so. Mrs. Sandman, bring me a dream. Dun, 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 dun. Make it the coolest that I've ever seen. Is there anything over here? Mm, I'm not seeing nothing. Alright, cool. We got a Delta Grimer. We got an Axew. We got another 3,000 Poke Dollars. We're doing pretty good, guys. Alright, so we're going to check out the two houses that were up here. Then we're going to go to the Pokemon Center and uh, check out that Delta Grimer and that uh, Axew. Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my not to for your Butterfree. Uh, I don't have one. Sorry. Orion's a freaking weirdo. They say he's best friends with a rock that talks. Okay, you guys are buttholes. I only talk to... What? I am a real trainer. I just caught an Axew and a Delta freaking Grimer. Come on! Fine, you want to be like that? I don't want to talk to you either. I heard that Lucario can read your mind by looking at your aura. Is it just me, or is that really creepy? I wouldn't want to look any Lucario trainer anywhere near me. <laughs> Hello there. Have you ever heard of the pledge moves? I can only teach it to a few Pokemon, but moves have an interesting effect when used together. Amazing things will happen. Which one would you like to learn? A uh, water pledge? Killer Croc can learn it. Cool. Okay, it is a special move, so we'll just get rid of Water Gun. Can anybody else learn Fire Pledge? Okay, Pegasus cannot learn Fire Pledge. Interesting. Oh, I think it's only starter Pokemon that can learn these moves. The Pledge moves, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's only starters. 
Hmm. Okay. All right, we need to go heal up our bubby. Fall down this hole and not mysteriously die somehow. We're gonna take a look at that Axew and that Grimer that we caught. Check out this axe here. Hopefully, it's got some good, you know, it's got mold breaker, so that's good. That's not, you know, amazing, but it's got bold nature. Bold nature. Um, okay, so raises attack. Low, wait, no. Is it red that raises or blue that raises? Okay, so it raises the defense and lowers the attack, which isn't horrible. So, it's not horrible. And we have Dragon Rage, Dual Chop, Scary Face, and Slash. Okay. And we got Mrs. Sandman with Spit Up, Minimize, Bulldoze, and Mud Bomb. And it is Rash Nature, which is raising special attack and lowering special defense. And it has Sap Sipper. Ooh! Yes! Okay. But we can't use Mrs. Sandman. We shouldn't have even been able to catch that one. I don't want to use an over-level Pokemon, so... Um... Do we want to add Wuthred to the team and take someone off? You know what? I have my friends here with me, and I'm going to let them decide. Guys, I have Wuthred, the wonderful, lovable Axie. And I have Bubby, my starter, who is a Psychic and Fairy-type Bulbasaur. I have Frank the Fampy, Thunderbolt the Elekid, uh, Pegasus the Rapidash, Beyonce the Nidorina, and Killer Croc the Crocodile. Really We're going to face a water, oh, not a water, a fire and grass gym. Who should I take out for Wuthred or should I leave Wuthred in the box? Let's not all chime up at once here, guys. Well, that's the thing, though. Your party doesn't get pretty good in this game, so it's just a huge success for the uh, let the kid there. Let me have a move that would actually be beneficial. Yeah, Thunderbolt's pretty cool. I mean, he's he's kind of overleveled right now, actually, because I used him a lot. But he doesn't really offer anything to the team right now against the next gen. Yeah. He can uh, to me. Huh? Talk. And that is my friend. <laughs> That's Katie, by the way. Hi! <laughs> well, what do you guys, do you guys have an opinion? Thunderbolt? What's that? Grass and fire, but mainly fire. I would say We can always add Thunderbolt to the team later. He is a little over level too, so. You know what? I think Thunderbolt is going to have to sit at home for a little while, so... Wait, he was higher level. Did I screw up? Did the game screw over? Because I thought he was level 22. Well, regardless, he's not going to offer a lot right now to this gym. So... Unfortunately, he's not going to offer a lot to this gym. And I mean, we can't put Bubby away. He's our starter. So, we have Bubby, Pegasus, Beyonce, Killer Croc, Wuthred, and Frank. Oh, yeah. I, I, okay, I over-level Killer Croc a little bit. But Killer Croc is freaking awesome. Come on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the gym, but we're going to go ahead and call it quits right there. We'll take on the gym in the next episode. Don't forget, guys, to, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you uh, Sith Lightning that like button. And if you're new, use the Force to subscribe. And remember, guys, we are the Force, each and every one of us. So let's connect. Get excited for that first gym. We are like eight episodes in. First gym coming up right now.
and I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Insurgents. And all of my friends said... Bye! Bye! Ready to with you. Empty. I'll set in. Bye, guys. <laughs>